people. We've got people. We want they want Dave. They want Dave. They want Dave. We've got people we well, can in I, the hey, house. Can I get, what about Buckeye Brandon? Can I give you a Buckeye Brandon? <laughs> we got Buckeye Brandon here. This crowd is, is ready. We've got people in the big house watching. This is amazing. So you guys want Dave. So we need the man of the hour to come on out here, right? Have his moment, okay? All right, let's bring out the man of the hour. Come on out, Dave. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the whole cheerleading squad with him. So Brandon, you uh, you know, we're waiting for Dave to sit down here. Are, how are you and Dave feeling today? So this is where it all ends for Michigan. I love it. I love it. We're our people feeling? here. I know. Did you notice that people in the big house are watching too? Oh, I love it all the way to the big all, house, all the way back. All the Fuck way up. Ohio. I cannot. Favorite day of the year. It's our annual beat the fuck out of Ohio day. <laughs> <laughs> there is no tradition like this. Christmas day, Thanksgiving, and beat the fuck out of Ohio day. Every single year we come in, student body left, student body right. We don't need signals to jam it down your ass. <laughs> I'm excited. It's we wait and, and all we hear is crying and this and Harbaugh and signals. Buddy, we're running the ball down your fucking face. How hard is that? America's team is right. We are America's team. Everybody should root for us. I am so excited, so great to be back in Ann Arbor. I cannot wait. Ohio may be dead. Their program may be dead when this game's over. Done. Cannot wait. Dan, you remember uh, whenever we were talking about this show and we were planning it, you said Dave could just stand up yeah. here and do a show by himself. I think we might just have to let him. Yeah, we should just let Dave go. We should have put a pulpit up here and he should just be like banging it <laughs> like Dwight Schrute. People of Michigan, yes. we call on you today. Yeah, so you, you're neutral, Dan. Uh, yes. So how are you feeling about this crowd? I'm though? excited. I mean, this is there's nothing better in sports. The biggest rivalry. These two teams hate each other. Everything that's going on. Ryan Day has been a pussy the last month and a half. Crying Ryan. That's a fact. Crying Ryan Day. And One of the great out. sore losers of our generation. <laughs> hey, buddy, we're running it up the middle and you can't stop it. <laughs> Brandon, would you like your moment? I don't really need a moment. I will talk to everybody. Just real quick. <laughs> Boo. Everybody that can see me right now and hear my voice, you are cheaters! <laughs> You're cheaters! You're bad people! You are bad people! I feel like Brandon is just like in a blender at this point. Well, Brandon's team sucks. He's a Mississippi State fan. Buckeye hey, Brandon We're getting a new coach. has adopted Ohio because he has nothing else, and he's picked okay, the worst right. team in the country. Yeah, we're not throwing stuff. Well, they're throwing hand warmers. Oh. That hurts you, not us. That's true. That's that a good was point. A hand warmer? Yeah. I thought it was a beer. So no, at it was least a we're hand good. Warmer. Okay, so I know that we started off today. You guys are in the house. You're telling Ev that if Ohio State loses, he's dead. Well, if Ohio State loses, what do they do? They've made excuses for the last. They haven't beat us, by the way, and I think it's. 1,450 something days. Yeah, because you ran from them. Literally COVID. before COVID. It's, so it's black and white TVs. Ohio State fans will be like, oh, but we beat you in the 1920s. You have half these people here haven't been alive last time Ohio beat Michigan. So do you do you want to have? Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, footballs. 
Just catch the footballs, Brandon. I, I like to say don't throw things, but he does deserve it. But don't throw things. Don't throw things. Don't throw things. They throw like J.J. McCarthy. They're not going to hit me. Oh, uh, now I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, now they're just not going to throw it, just in case. Yeah. Okay, so you and Ev have been going back and forth. I mean, every single show this entire year. Obviously, though, you and Ev have a personal bet going on, right? You can't talk about Michigan? Well, the, the blood oath? Yeah. Yeah, so I, I'm so sick of Ohio making excuses. What are they going to say after this game? Clearly, we don't have our coach, the signals. We're still going to beat the piss out of them. So the blood oath I have with Big Ev, Fat Ev, is he can't mention the signals. No Ohio State fan can open their mouth after we jam it down their throat today. None. So that is the blood oath. I think my microphone just turned up very loud, which is good. So Big Ev, and I know, Brandon, you always make fun of me. So where is Big Ev, since you always know? It's very easy to spot him. He's the fat guy in the middle. Hi, Big Ev. How are you feeling down there? I feel good. I feel good. I mean, I don't know. It's just that. Bring it. Bring it. Because I'll tell you, I don't know if it's just that I'm surrounded by Michigan fans or that Luan's right here. But ever since I've been in an arbor, it smells like straight up pussy. That's what it smells <laughs> like. Oh, shut you the bitches fuck around here. You're pussy. Big you should have not come in here. I'm in your week. kitchen. For you a month. are pussy. Big you have been walking pussy. around talking, talking shit on Twitter. I'm in your face. He walks Twitter. Twitter. I'm in your face right now, <laughs> big boy. Walks around slugging around. Pussy. Oh, hey, good luck today, mama. He's scared. Smells Ohio like State pussy. Are scared. <laughs> you're fucking. You never even seen one. I'm you. I'm not gonna do nothing. I was waiting for that. You're not gonna do a fucking. Your kitchen, Look at baby. You. <laughs> I'm right in your kitchen. You ain't doing Fucking nothing. You said you were gonna swing, over here. swing, Loud baby. What's up? Do the shot. least amount of damage. <laughs> I, earlier when we were Soft. in the, the house, they were talking about how they were Fair. actually going to punch each other, and I was like, I, I would take the NFL player probably over Big Ev. He wouldn't fucking dare. <laughs> you said you were going to punch he me. What's up? He even reach this high. <laughs> he said he was going to punch me. I'm right here. What's up, <laughs> bitch? Oh, Shit. listen. Someone may die punch before you. I come from a school of integrity and character. Oh no, you come from a school <laughs> of pussies. I, I just finished them, brother. It's all good. Today, all the talk. Ryan Day crying. Check it in, Dave Portnoy follows Dave. Oh, he wants yeah, to do the best he can. Ryan Dave Net follows me on Twitter. You want to talk about being in his it's fucking insane. kitchen? The, men the mental fortitude of Columbus, Ohio is sickening. It's and motivation, today, baby. That's bulletin board material. Do, but take Dave's a back seat, bend over, material. and let what's going to happen happen. That's so all it is. This game is obviously the biggest college football game for everybody, not just us here in Ann Arbor. Everybody's talking about it, and we're going to get to this game, and I'm sure a lot of shit will be talked. We do need to talk about some other games going on around the country. Uh, thanks to the High Noon. I know. I, I know. Hey, hey, I, don't no, boo boo, High Noon. Boo, we're not booing High boo, Noon. Boo, boo, I don't want to talk about anybody but Michigan. Fuck you all the other games. Okay, well, what Fuck about all this? the other games. Fuck them. Okay. But can we at least talk about your El Prez pack, though? You do yeah, have well, it right the next El Prez pack. So drink the El Prez these pack, tangerine. Is, drink them up. Drink them up. If you're going to drink the El Prez pack today, it's probably a great day to do it. Visit highnoonspirits.com to find it. They have the tangerine, which is the number one flavor. So I'll let you guys do this. Smile I love for that. camera. I'm sorry. I'm just hyped up. No, do you not want to talk about other games? I, mean, I don't you, want to talk your, about any other games. It's your company. Nobody else matters except Michigan. Okay, it's your uh, company. I'll do, so. I'll do it quick. Yes. I'm taking Kentucky, Alabama, and Florida. They're your picks. Okay, Brandon. Shut up, Brandon. <laughs> so I'm going, I'm going Louisville. I'm going rivalry game, red against blue. You got to take the home team there. I got Alabama, and I got Florida. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take Louisville, Alabama, and Florida State. I'm taking Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> It really is like when we do come here, we're always excited. You're home, but this is the biggest game it's in like, regular season college football history. This is the biggest game we've ever had since we started Barstool, period, because of all the crying and moaning from those fucking pussies in Ohio. <laughs> Take your whooping like a man! <laughs> we beat the piss out of you! So, yeah, we, we're not gonna boo the other games. We're not gonna, we're gonna drink High Noon, though, all day. We're gonna be drinking yes. High Noon in the house, so thank you to High Noon. Let's move to the Roback Dog of the Week. As always, we are always all outfitted in our Roback. I've got the new fleece. Go to Roback. That's R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. Use code football for 20% off your first purchase. Dave, I will start with you. Who is your Roback dog Here's of the Roback. week? Here's my Roback. My dog of the week is that absolutely disgusting, dead dog, crybaby, crying Ryan Day. <laughs> Listen, you were born on third base. You're still on third base. 
There's nobody out. You on third base? You haven't scored yet. Harbaugh kicks the shit out of you every year, and all you do is hire your little brother and his investigation firm because you can't beat us on the field. We're running the ball up the middle. How hard is it? You still can't stop it. Ryan Day, my dog of the week, a dead dog scumbag. Dan? All right, I had... I had Iowa as my dog of the week, but I can tell that the crowd does not want to hear about any other games. So here's my dog of the week. My dog of the week is going to be uh, everyone at Barstool if Michigan loses this game. Mm -hmm. So this game, for people at Barstool, uh, Monday is our Cyber Monday, and uh, everyone is in the doghouse if Michigan somehow loses this game. Everything's at stake. I said if! You fucking idiots, I said if! Yeah, he said if, not I said if. It is true. It is. is But... When Ohio State loses, your there you go. Yeah. Is my mic on? When Ohio State loses, Big Ev is going to be the dog of the week because he's going to have to deal with this for another 365 days. And Buckeye Brandon, who... How, why do you... Why Buckeye Brandon, get out of here. I didn't do it. He, he called know. me that. Yeah, no, I, I definitely don't want to be on Dave's bad side if... We're not going to lose. Fuck Doesn't Dave. I know, fuck Dave, Portnoy. Fuck Michigan. Iowa was my dog of the week. I was 10-2. and two. They deserve the dog of the week. Okay, so Brandon, who is your dog of the week? My dog of the week is the one guy everybody looking at me fears today. His name is Marvin Harrison Jr. And he is the best player taking the field today. You can't stop him. His quarterback might suck, but you can't stop him. He's the reason Ohio State wins this game. By the way, Brandon, this Ohio State fan that's double fisting the high noons, you, yeah. you just got him. He's he's yeah. very hype right now. Kyle McCord is fucking horrible. <laughs> he's horrible. What? Who's going to throw him the ball? Yeah, you can have score Marvin points Harrison against Jr. Who cares? Yeah, we were talking about that in the house, and Dave was like, you could have Jerry Rice out there. If you have a quarterback that can't get you the ball, it doesn't fucking Kyle matter. Kyle McCord so. is horrible. You CJ, guys, you, CJ Stroud couldn't beat us. You guys have a bad quarterback and bad receiver. He you was can't the throw Heisman favorite two weeks ago. And then he played well, somebody. <laughs> no, today. We've been saving him for today, you moron. Yeah, this is not going to go well. Mm. Either way, this stream's already going to be heated. All right, Ev, who is your dog this week? Listen, my dog is the entire Ohio State team. He who can't has been even ridiculed, figure out how to get a microphone to work. Who has been ridiculed in all this bullshit about how they're soft and weak this year. They stuff everything you got. They pack it up your ass. They shut you motherfuckers out and shut you up, you stupid fucks. The Ohio State defense <laughs> shows out today. Michigan goes down bad. Bad. Gets exposed. Bad. Embarrassed. J.J. McCarthy's a bum. The line is weak. You see in a few hours. You see. The Ohio State defense is here, the best defense in the country. Book it. Should I let Taylor hit him now? Right, right, Taylor, yeah. Taylor, you want to hit him now or later? Hey, listen, that's, it's cute. It's adorable. It's been 1,500 days since they've even sniffed a win against Michigan. Let him breathe. Let him have fun right now. This is the fun time. Because in a couple hours, he's fucking dead again. He might be jobless. I don't know. He might say some crazy shit. It's all right. We're going to be just fine. No. We're going to be just we fine. Boyd Taylor, we keep Ohio and Big Ever around just to push him around. They're like the little fucking weak brother. You just beat on him, push him around, throw him in a locker. We need them. They're fun to pick on. So my dog of the week is somebody that I feel like is just the ultimate football guy. He was eating with his quarterbacks this morning. He's not going to be on the sideline. But Jim Harbaugh is my dog of the week. He was at a delicious Drop restaurant the called the, the, the Strain the this morning, and I was Drop told that all the quarterbacks normally go before the game, and that last night in the middle of the night, the owner got a text and said, hey, coach is going to join. He's going to be with his guys all morning. So Jim Harbaugh, he's not going on the sidelines, but he's eating with his team today, Dave. He's, Drop the line. He's on. What, what's happening? Drop the line. No, the dick riding is the, crazy, the, little bro. The, the meat riding is crazy, little bro. You're, you're doing <laughs> tricks on it now, little bro. We're in Ann Arbor. <laughs> you're doing tricks on it. Uh, you're in Ann Arbor. America's team. That's us. <laughs> okay, Brandon. I did it, Jack. <laughs> you, you're so excited. Okay, so Brandon, back. Trivia's back with Body Armor. Body it Armor is. is the official water of Barstool Sports. We've got it up here. I believe we're I'll playing. Back to you, so yeah. you have a trivia question for us. All right, so this is a Michigan-based question. Out of respect to our host here today, the last time, the last time the Michigan beat Ohio State three times in a row, who was the quarterback of the third game for Michigan? Who was the quarter, your starting quarterback last time you beat was Ohio that, State three that, years in a was row? Was that Brady? It or was Henson? Not. It was not. Henson? Anybody? Anybody know? Henson? Any of you idiots know? Henson? No. I have no. I don't know. Who? Greasy? 
Brian Greasy, oh, 1997. Brian Greasy. That's when they, okay. we beat him like a thousand oh. times in a row. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you beat him three times in a row. When John Cooper was there, we beat, beat him about a hundred times. Yeah, that, three so times thank in you to Body Armor for that. Okay, it's time for the Pizza Hut Hut Take of the Week. Pizza Pizza Hut may not have invented pizza, but they sure made it famous. Whether it's a team celebration or a casual get together with friends, no one out pizzas the hut. So this is we talked about how big this game is, and we always look at ratings. I think that just across the country, this is going to be one of the most watched regular season football games of all time. There's so much surrounding it. I don't think that's that hut of a take. Dan, what is your Pizza Hut hut take of the week? Okay, my hut take, it might, uh, we'll see how it ages in four hours from now, but uh, I have a sweatshirt underneath this uh, vest, Roback vest, and I want to say the man is America. I'm going to, hold on. The man is America, he is football. I have been wearing this whole time. I have no dog in this fight, but I love one man I know in this coming. fight. It is Free Harbaugh. We got the Free Harbaugh. Free Harbaugh. No, so no, I'm going to be Free Harbaugh all day. <laughs> free Harbaugh all day, baby. You can buy this in the Barstool Sports Store 20% off right now. Free Harbaugh. Jim Harbaugh deserves to be free. Listen, that's what happens when you have the best coach in America. Everybody wants him. That's the name of the game. Buy it right now, 20% off. That's we'll all have Dan. it live in the store. I'll tweet the link. All Dan wants for Christmas is Jim Free Harbaugh, Harbaugh in Chicago. Free okay. Harbaugh. Brandon, your hut take. You know, it's crazy, Casey, because I also have a shirt underneath my oh, rollback vest. Oh, boy, vest. okay. And it's available in the Barstool Sports Store right now, 20% off everything until Monday. I have this shirt right here because the man should be in jail. You notice that they were chanting, take it off for Dan, and they're saying, put, put it, it back on, on for yeah. you. Yeah, they don't want to see you without on. your shirts on. So here's my, here's my hot take of the week. Okay. This is cute. Ohio State, Michigan, it's a cute game. You know you guys are playing for second place. None of you stand a chance against Georgia or Alabama in the national title game. Not one of you. This is for second place. This is cute. It doesn't matter in the long run at all. This is what he does because his team sucks. He tries to be like, oh, I'm SEC. So, the so suddenly the, the SEC goalposts. is his team. Get out of here. I'm just saying truth. Shut I the fuck say up. They were my team. I'm just saying <laughs> truth. Okay, Ev, what is your hot take? You won't. Jim Harbaugh will never coach another game for Michigan again. After today, when Michigan gets exposed, if an NFL team is dumb enough to hire a stupid ass, cheating ass, he's gonna head for the hills, leave you all high and dry, go to the NFL, and you'll have that crybaby weeping bitch more to coach this team into the doormat. Harbaugh never coaches a game in Michigan again. Free Harbaugh! I mean Free Harbaugh! Harbaugh's Free a fucking Harbaugh. loser. Loser. Free He's trying to trick We're in a playoff game, you yes. scrub. I agree. Free Harbaugh. Free Harbaugh. He tried. He tried. He tried. Okay, so Dave, you have a hut take that's special for us today. Well, yeah. So Harbaugh. Free Harbaugh. No, no, he's trying to trick you. He's trying to trick you. Free Harbaugh. All right, here, here we go. Here we go with, with my hot take. And Ryan Day, everybody says this and that about what Michigan has done, and, and you look at what. Harbaugh's done and all. Uh-oh. Who is that? Who, who? I'm going to change what I was saying here. I got some evidence that just I, came to my attention. <laughs> Ryan Day is going to be suspended for longer than what Jim Harbaugh was because he has been caught cheating and in the act far worse and I have some proof that just came to my desk. So my hot take will be that the longer, more cheating program is actually gonna be end up the scumbags from Ohio. Who just handed you that paper? I don't know who that was. He looked, looked like a mysterious man handed Dave a paper. I think I saw him in the Central Michigan sideline a few weeks ago. Was that Connor Stein? I don't know who that was. <laughs> Brandon's brain is in a blender over here. Uh, just it looked familiar, that's all. <laughs> I don't. He's I've, everywhere. I have no idea, but I would like to salute all the Marines out there. Thank you for your service. <laughs> we all know Connor Stallions. The Mar thank you, Ohio guy. Connor Stallions, Marine. Thank you for your service. That's an honorable man. American right there. hero. Yes, uh, Brandon. Would you like to say that you appreciate the Marines? I appreciate the Marines, the Army, all all troops. Really. Who brings a soccer ball? Yeah, I don't know. What are you doing, bringing a soccer ball to Do this? Do you appreciate Connor Stallions for his service? No, because he's a cheater. He's a Marine oh, he's a <laughs> Got it off the bounce. Got it off the bounce. All right, it's time for No One Out Pizza's The Hut. We've got Ev and Taylor down there with Spider, who I believe is doing Out Pizza Hut today. 
Yeah, I'm here with my guy, Spider. He's gonna tear through this dummy like JT's gonna tear through JJ McCarthy in a few hours. You ready, Spider? Gotcha. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Not Ike. Boom. Nailed it. I thought that Taylor might do this, but I remember he's kind of. Had a boy, Spider. Oh, yeah. Good work. So Dave, I know we've come and done this show. I believe this is our fourth time since like this iteration of this show and the crowd keeps getting bigger and bigger. I'm gonna let you have your moment. How awesome is it to be back in Ann Arbor? It's the best to be back in Ann Arbor. And you gotta remember now, I'm not, everyone's like, oh, Michigan. I remember 10 years ago, our program was in shambles. I sat there, I said, college football is Michigan. Michigan is college football. We're the number one football school in the country. The big house, the winged helmet. When you think football, when you think college football, you think Michigan. And we're back on top. The crowd's here. Everyone's excited. This is what Thanksgiving football fall is all about. We are on top of the world, and we're going to prove it today. So I couldn't be happier. I know you three all have football schools. None of them can ever match this environment. None of them can be this good. So it's great to be back. Well, apparently Ryan Day is interviewing for my Well, Ryan my Day is going to be done after he loses this game. Ohio's not going to take him losing again. He gets his ass kicked every year. This is his last game as coach of Ohio. So he may be in college and Ryan station. Day going to Texas A&M would be one of the dumbest, funniest things ever, where he went, he leaves a job because he can't deal with the expectations of fan base to go to Texas A&M. Well, if you can't beat, Wait, if you can't beat Michigan, I mean, you can't stay here. He's literally walking even worse of that. Yeah. Uh, you and I will go back and forth I about am, this with Ever. That would be so insane. It's not about A&M today, but if Ryan Day does lose to Michigan, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw him in College Station. Okay, Dan, it is time for the proper picks presented by yes. Proper Number 12. Proper it number is 12. football weather, and it's nothing better than to have a shot of whiskey. Proper Number 12 Irish whiskey, pour the roar. All right, so there's another rivalry game going today. I know you guys don't give a fuck about it, but Wisconsin minus two and a half at Minnesota. Paul Bunyan's axe is on the line. Uh, Minnesota will be not bowling. We're keeping them out of the bowling. Wisconsin is bowling. Pretty big deal, Dave, I know. Uh, is your team bowling? Just go over there. Okay, Speaking right, of bowling, right. I think we're we might be playing, playing each other. We might be playing each so other in a bowling. So pour the roar. Wisconsin minus two and a half is my pick. There you go. Pour that roar. Okay, Dave? My pick's Michigan to kick the fuck out of Ohio State. <laughs> Easy. We're as, by a thousand. As well it should be. Easy. Okay. Brandon? So my proper pick is the under in this game. Both defenses are really good. I, both quarterbacks are bad. There's one good offensive player in this game. It's Marvin Harrison Jr. It's going to be like 13 to 10, 17, 13, under, 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 under. You haven't You know, like the last like 30 games. I don't give a fuck what you say yeah, about like anything. You're just wrong about like everything all the time. No, uh, he has been saying that because, I mean, both defenses are very good. Yeah, so but have you seen the scores the last like 20 times they played? Always high scoring. He can't say. You can't even say You Michigan's guys knew their fucking good. plays last year. Oh, boy. Ooh. Brandon, we run the ball up the middle every time. J.J. McCarthy had three touchdowns. J.J. McCarthy never has three touchdowns. J.J. Passes. McCarthy may win the Heisman after what he does today. <laughs> that would be Brandon's worst nightmare. Okay, Ev, what is your proper pick for this week? Listen, my proper pick is the Ohio State Buckeyes. But you can take the three and a half points and shove them up Jim Harbaugh's ass. Ohio State money hail line, to easy the money victors, line, valiant, hail easy. Hail to the conquering right. hero. Hail. Hell to Michigan, the leaders in You don't know the words. Do you don't the Hell to you don't even know the, the words. victors, valiant. Sing it. Hell to the conquering heroes. Hell, hell to Michigan, the champions <laughs> of the West. Go Blue! I gotta say, Taylor. Fuck you! But they've never been, cha but they've never been champions of anything. Hope I hasn't even won a playoff game. Hey, champions asshole! Of what? We haven't lost champions a Big Ten game what? in like a hundred years. Nothing! Nothing! You're a bum! Nothing! We're talking about how you could have your own show. The two of them could do their own show right now. And Taylor, by the way, fantastic singing voice on Great you. Job. I, I did you. not yeah, anticipate that. that. So, Dave, I have a question for you. So, I, I've been like a loser in proper picks all year. I'm done making actual picks. How, what, if you were going to set an over-under of how many times you think you're going to call Ev fat today on the stream, what would it be? Infinity! Infinity? Can't I'm going to take the over. No. Today is the one day I've said that I only call him fat in this rivalry. That's not... That's not that's true not at all. True. Yeah, that's no, not I true. never, not, never outside this rivalry. No, that's not true. I don't fat shame except today. He's fat. <laughs> and what about Buckeye Brandon? Is that also infinity or is it? Yeah, I mean, what, I, I just want the game to get going and crack some skulls. I can't wait. Yeah, I, I'm excited to be like a, a fly on the wall this stream. I'm going to take the over for that. Okay, it is time for the Hooters wing eating competition. We've got the Hooters orange zone over there. I believe Spider 
is with our two contestants. I like that shirt, fuck Roger Goodell. That's right, thank That's you very shirt. much, Casey. I'm here with Jeff and Jamie. Without Ohio State fans, usually on this show, it's one versus one, the actual game day showdown. But Ohio State's fans are too big of pussies to even show up to the Hooters Hotway contest. <laughs> Give me 30 seconds on the clock, take a seat, guys. You're gonna have 30 seconds, no, to, to eat as many wings as you can, courtesy of Hooters. Jamie, Jeff, ready? Three, two, one, Hooters. Fuck Ohio! <laughs> I love how we have all these little kids and we're fuck just like, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> it's a family show. Oh, it's a family show. Like Michigan's they leading gotta grow early. up sometime. Yeah, this kid up front is oh. holding a sign that says, Stallion's fingers smell better than Urban Meyer's. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> like, that's, he's been holding up all day. That's a great sign. How old is he? Michigan still has the lead. It's his 10th birthday. Ooh, Happy Seattle. birthday! Oh, that's that's awesome. Three, two, two one, give the kid the helmet. Stop! Uh, Pretty yeah, neck and neck. Yeah. This one's going to we'll, Michigan. We'll right Michigan. Jamie yeah. wins. Michigan won. Of course, Michigan, Michigan won. won. All we do is fucking win. There's a lot of meat win. on those bones. I love it. Yeah, so this is a 10th birthday Michigan. down here, and he yes. is holding a sign, so that's, that's yeah, we awesome. Got a, we got a six-year-old holding a sign. Stallion's fingers smell better than Urban Meyer's. Fact. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> All right, we are joined up here by the lovely Hooters girls. Head over to your local Hooters and tweet a picture of your wings with hashtag Google Hooters. You will win a trip to the national championship of your... Oh, this, yes. I love this kid. Yes. yes. That's college football right yes. there, yes. a kid holding that sign. That's phenomenal. Happy birthday to him. So Hooters has been with you from the very beginning. We yep. always say that. It's our 20th birthday at Barstool, and they've been with you since day one. Yes. We love Hooters. Thank so you for the support. We are doing our top 10 college football rivalries today, and I feel like we've done this before, but it changes every year depending on the heat. So I'm going to go first. I do support the troops. Army, Navy has to always go first. The next one, Ohio State, Michigan. You guys have taken over the Iron Bowl for me. You guys hate each other more than Alabama, Auburn right now. No, you don't. Yeah, they have. No, they don't. This year they have. I mean, Auburn. They had to have a scandal. The meat riding is crazy. So I just went straight actual rivalries. I think the guys have done other. Dan, we want to go ahead and do your top yeah, ten. Yeah, I can do my top ten. I have Michigan, Ohio State, number one. I mean, everything that's going on right now, it's insanity. Uh, Army, Navy, Alabama uh, versus Auburn. Brandon versus Ben Mintz. Dave versus pronouncing words. Number eight is Rico versus all his coworkers. And their wives. <laughs> yeah. Pitt versus West Virginia. I mean, backyard brawl. Oklahoma versus Texas. But yeah, today is about Michigan, Ohio State. That's a fact. It, it's crazy that it's a rivalry weekend, and I know that we're in our bubble here, but it just feels like this is the only game that matters. This is Brandon. the only game that matters. We're the only school that matters. Brandon, your top 10 rivalries. Yeah, I don't 100% want to turn around here, but I got Michigan versus Common Decency because they're cheating assholes. I got a state against all Miss. I got Auburn, Alabama, Yankees, Red Sox, Army, Navy. What's Who gave I you Arsenal versus Tottenham? Huh? Who I, gave you Arsenal? Uh, I, Arsenal Tottenham is a huge rivalry. <laughs> Tottenham's a great it's a football rivalry. Yeah, I got all that. West Point High School against Starville High School. Great rivalry. I do have a question for you, and this is not to throw you under the bus, because we've had this argument on an You're about to throw me under the no, bus, I'm not. Aren't you? No, I'm not. Okay. You said before that you don't think that Ohio State Michigan is as heated year round I as don't. Alabama Auburn. It is now. But it is now, right? They, they, it in this, always has in been. this one year snapshot, it is. This is crazy. Yeah, you live it's in your you're backwoods hit from Alabama, Mississippi. Alabama and Auburn shoot each other over this rivalry. They do, actually. And they shoot their own family members. All right, Dave, your top ten rivalries. All right, here's my top 10. Uh, we'll start 10. Uh, Woody Hayes punching players. Buckeye Brandon versus being right. <laughs> ESPN versus hiring dorks like Pete Thamel and that fucking other, who's that four-eyed SEC guy? Uh, uh, Paul Feinbaum. Paul Feinbaum, loser. Tony Petiti versus due process. The Constitution. How do you sus suspend somebody without an investigation? OSU versus institutional chaos. Columbus, the city itself. First depression, <laughs> Big Ed versus eating, OSU players versus going to class, Urban Meyer versus being a pervert, and Ryan Day versus crying. My top ten rivalries. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's a good list. That was just pretty good. And, of course, thanks to the Hooters girls, as always. All right, let's talk about the reason that we are all here, the high noon game of the week. Two versus three, Ohio State versus Michigan right now. Michigan favored by three, Dave. The over-under at 46 and a half. We're like an hour away from kickoff right now. How are you feeling? I'm excited. I honestly think this is the biggest game in the history of this rivalry with everything surrounding it. We've had obviously one verse two, we've had everything on the line, but we've never seen a school cower to the level that Ohio State has 
in the last year with crying Ryan Day literally being like, I'm gonna hire my brother to investigate. He sets up third day investigations 20 miles down the road. It's excuse after excuse after excuse. The entire conference is against us. If it was up to me, I'd leave the fucking Big Ten. They need us more than we need them. So today is the biggest game in the history of the rivalry. And when Michigan kicks the shit out of Ohio, that entire state will be dead. They will have nothing left. And this conference will be ours forever. Michigan by a thousand. <laughs> I, do, I know we said this off the top of the show, but it, there's more and more people inside the big house watching this show, and it is awesome to see. In the stadium watching us. Okay, oh, Dan, we know. We talked about Kyle McCord. We talked yes. about J.J. McCarthy. Yes. Both of these defenses, very, very strong. Yes. Who are you leaning with today? So I, I, I'm going with the under with Brandon, but the thing we have not talked about is I think these two teams are very even. I do think Marvin Harrison's the best player on the field. But hold on. Just wait. Just wait. Calm down. I think the one thing we have not talked about is Ohio State's offensive line is probably the weakest unit on this field. I think Michigan's going to be able to control the line of scrimmage, and they're going to win, and I'm taking Michigan minus three. And you mean Maserati Marv, too. Maserati Marv. Marv. It doesn't matter if a wide receiver is your best player and your quarterback sucks. It doesn't matter. Well, and Brandon, we've seen videos of Kyle McCord limping. We don't know if J.J. McCarthy's at full strength. I assume I know where you're going with this, but... Yeah, I'm not going to make a big speech. Listen, this is the first time this game has been on even ground in three years. You guys have cheated the last two years. It's coming back to you. OH! OH! Ohio State. You hit a kid. You hit a kid. And he wonders why he gets booed everywhere he goes. I just made a pick. He, 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 listen, he's always wrong. I'd be nervous if he picked us. Okay, yeah. so this has been debated, I feel like, all week. But who do you think has more pressure, Dan? I'm going to do the neutral thing. Who has more pressure to win today? Ryan Michigan Day. Or? Ryan Day has the most pressure in this game. It's very, very clear. Because this is why I was, I was against the suspension of Harbaugh because of the due process, which I do believe in. But more than anything, I was trying to explain it to Ohio State fans, and they're too stupid to realize it. Harbaugh not being in this game gives Michigan an out. Ryan Day has no out. He basically spent the last, you know, year of his life trying to uncover this cheating scandal. If he doesn't win today, he can't go back to Columbus. He has all the pressure in the world on him. Ryan Day should stick with picking on Notre Dame. We're not Notre Dame. Go beat Notre Dame. No one fucking cares about Notre Dame. This is fucking Michigan. You don't come in here. We're not Notre Dame. We're a real fucking football team. But he also likes to pick on Lou Holtz, too. He likes to pick fights with 90-year-olds. Yeah, you go beat a little, a little Notre Dame who sucks. We ain't Notre Dame. We're Michigan. It is tough because if if Ohio State loses, like you said, Dan, they, Michigan just be like, okay, well, our coach was yeah, no, watching they have the in a hotel room. Yeah, excuse, right. And, yes. and Ryan Day has, it, it's the most important game of Ryan Day's life. I don't think he'll ever have a more important game. I don't care playoffs, any of that. He has to win today. As far as the playoff scenario, though, because we know last year Ohio State did lose this game by a lot. Looks still like we're it. going to Pasadena. I'm looking at, like, the playoff schedule. I think we're <laughs> going to be in Pasadena. Do, do you think, Dan, there's a scenario where we could potentially see both Ohio State and Michigan in no, again? No, no. I do not think Loser so. leaves town today. Yes, I think it's a loser leaves town game. Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to take Michigan. I do think Michigan is the better team. And I'm in Ann Arbor. Call me Pander or whatever. We're You're at the big house. Uh, I've all, have I not been saying that all year? You're a pander. Have I not been saying it all year? Have I not been saying it for the last few like years? Like a pander bear. <laughs> you, thought was was, good. you thought that pander was a really good joke. Good. You thought good. that was a really good joke. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to send it out to the two guys right there who haven't punched each other yet. So we've got Michigan man Taylor Lewan. We've got Ohio State Big Ev. I'll let you guys just, just go about it right now. Listen, if I, if I haven't made my, my stance clear on this, Jim Harbaugh is a scumbag, a liar, and a cheater. But above all things, he's a weak, insecure man. So insecure that he couldn't take the beatings he was getting every year from Ohio State, fair and square, like a man. He had to resort to cheating to win. He's a loser, he's a rat. And what all these dumb Michigan fans don't realize is that in a few hours, when Ohio State walks to the big house and bitch slaps Michigan, they are gonna go back to nothing. They will go back to irrelevancy irrelevancy to being the doormat that Ohio State stomps on every year before they play in the Big Ten Championship game. Get He's louder, scared. you idiots! He's Do you have enough? Get He's louder, scared. you pussies! Bring it! Bring it! I'm right in your fucking kitchen! I'm right in your kitchen! You ain't got shit! Ohio State curb stomps Michigan today! Harbaugh's gone! And you guys all go back to relevance.
Collins team, you're nothing. Lose your fucking lives in Michigan. Ohio State, big. Ohio State, big. Get them a ventilator. All Buckeyes. All Buckeyes. Get louder. Can you get any louder, you pussies? Can you get any louder? Is this all you have? I'm in here by myself with some. Not a bad With some. I'm in here by myself. Then you got shit. Shit. Okay, Taylor, your are What do you got, Taylor? What do you got? You're a rebuttal. You pick Michigan? All right, all right. You pick Michigan? <laughs> hey, stop the bell. Stop the bell. All right, well, stop the bell. Well, bells are okay. For the love of God. I didn't hear a fucking word you said. I had no idea what he said. At the end of the day, for years, Michigan was beat down, burnt down to rubble, uh -huh. and out of the ashes came a phoenix in the name of Jim Harbaugh. And today, November 25th, with, a, with a, our arm tied behind our back, we are going to beat the fuck out of Ohio State, win the Big Ten, win the national championship, <laughs> and then leave the Big Ten Conference and forever be champions. That's all I got. I would say that I, I didn't know if there was going to be any screaming in Ev's face or not. Are we, we're getting cordial until kickoff, huh, fellas? It's almost time. It's almost time. Again, this Everyone is a watch the stream. We're about Absolute. to get in the ring and fight. The talk is over. We're about to get in the ring. We're going to fight. We're going to see what happens. Annual tradition. It's, it's beat the fuck out of Ohio State Day. And I can't yes. wait. And we're going to be watching in the house. I think we're going to be able to hear the crowd noise from the big house in the little house where we're going to be watching. Brandon, by the way, you've got a bunch of people you blocked on Twitter down here. That's they were fine. showing, so unblock them. Dave, I'm gonna let you take this crowd out. This is your home, these are your people. What do you have to say before this fight? No, we can't wait. This is our day. This is the biggest rivalry in sports, and today we end the entire state of Ohio. So let's just fucking cue the music, and let's go beat the fuck out of Crying Ryan Day, and make them pay for everything they've done the last month. Thank you for coming, Ann Arbor. Hail to the victor. You guys have a fantastic day. I've got crew necks, I've got some mats, I've got some pocket tees. I've got board games, I've got polos, got everything that you need. I need you more in every sale, I really, really do. I will see more, I will promote it, cause I'm counting on a bonus for the behind the scenes people. The ones with technical skills. I want to sell you all of my sweaters. I want to see you in a belief. I want to move more merch than ever so that they won't yell at me. And when this sale is done and it's time to shut down the screen, I pray that they write a fat check to the production team. Those graphics guys are so damn talented and good looking that you should have to score on barstoolsports.com and buy a shitload of golf gear, a fuma for your beer, a children's book about shorts. I want to sell you all of my sweaters. I want to see you in a belief. I want to move more merch than ever so that they won't yell at me.